What's happening guys, J. Coon Prime here bringing you another Marvel's Avengers video and today I want to talk about the numerous amount of leaks that have been surfacing on the game and more specifically why I don't cover these leaks on the channel. As always, if you enjoy the video, if you could leave a like rating on it, it would show your support and it actually helps out the videos quite a bit. So if you could leave a like rating, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Plus, I'll be covering Avengers pretty heavily as I am very invested in helping this community grow. So if you want to stay up to date with official news about Marvel's Avengers, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell that way you always know when I have a new video for you. Now with that all out of the way, let's talk. So there are several reasons I don't cover leaks on the channel. The biggest reason would be a touch selfish, but hey, at the end of the day, you have to maintain a level of professionalism about stuff, you know? So the biggest reason is if the developers had meant for us to see the leak, they would have shown us themselves. It's no secret that devs hate it when leaks happen. And as someone who was fortunate enough to have been given a free copy of Avengers on release day, Pissing off Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics is the last thing I want to do. The next reason is a lot more simple, but that is the fact that I still want to be surprised when it comes to announcements. I don't mind spoilers so much in a video game. Like, if I see a spoiler, it's not going to stop me from playing the game, and chances are with how hectic my schedule is, I'll most likely forget about what I saw until I see it live on stream when I'm playing it for you guys. But let's be fair for a second. Being surprised in the video game world is hard to come by nowadays. And while other game companies tend to drag out surprises for weeks or even months, Crystal Dynamics has been pretty good about letting us know about things in a timely manner. I mean, they have already told us what's coming for the next two months in Avengers. And the leaks, or the stuff that has been perceived as leaks, most of it's probably not coming until next year. So in my opinion, why worry about what's coming next year when we don't even have the stuff that's coming next month? It just never made sense to me. I know not everybody thinks like I do, and that's okay. Like, no one owes me a thing. But I just feel like it's best to wait for content to be shown when it's intended to be shown. There's no reason to throw a wrench into things when it isn't necessary. And I think the biggest thing people need to keep in mind when it comes to leaks in video games and the revealing of the content is you aren't the only one waiting for news and dropping leaks for the sake of content could eventually get you in trouble. But I think I've rambled on about this long enough. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate the support. And if you want to catch some Avengers action live, be sure to head over to twitch.tv slash Prime as I stream Avengers as well as many other games every single day. Click the annotations on screen right now to check out some of my other content. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Prime. And thank you again for watching. I never can say thank you enough. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.